light usually goes in pretty much a straight line until it hits something, right? So what's it going to do? It can do one of two things when you're at an angle. This class is, is Forensic Science 205, which is microscopic methods and forensic analysis. What we're trying to do with a class like this is get the students the opportunity to learn how some of the microscopes uh, that we use in crime laboratory type of setting work. This wouldn't be the end of your analysis, especially at this point. This isn't, I would say it's not enough to exclude it. The advantage of having a, a, a program like this at a small institution is again, it's class sizes. It's the number of students in the program itself. And the whole idea is trying to characterize the thing as best you can and to see things that are or aren't there. We're small enough that I know every student that's in the forensic science program, from freshman to senior. And a lot of these seniors can tell you that they're in and out of my office all the time, especially the closer we get to graduation, we're helping them get prepared for the GRE. You know, what kind of background information do they need to have for potential employers in our field? Where do they go to look for jobs? Um, what kind of professional organizations should they try to get involved with to get some peer influence? That's why most of us are here. Uh, we come to a small institution like this so that we can have a lot of face time and interaction with the students. It's not even just on the academic side of things. It's just it's those personal interactions too. It's trying to help these students uh, figure out how to become leaders and how to become service-oriented people, how to give back to their communities. You know, that's the best part about it.